Hello, hello, and welcome. It is Monday, April 7th, 2025, and it's a beautiful afternoon here in Los Angeles. I wanted to put together a very quick video to share with you the outcome of the new higher risk and reward parameters that I used and I wrote about in the blog post last week so that you can see exactly how it performed on ES as well as NQ for today. What we're looking at, of course, is the SPOOs, the ES futures. And the system for ES had only four trades and it stopped looking for trades by 7.32 in the morning. And let me explain why. Let's take a look at the actual performance results. And as you can see, it had four trades. It hit $6,162. I have the net session profit limit set to 5,000. And therefore, when it exited that final trade, the fourth trade, it stopped looking for further trades. So let's take a look at the trades really quickly here on the actual metrics. And you see the times and you see the exit times as well. OK, I'd like for you guys to take a look at the number of bars that we were in each of these trades, as well as the MAE, which stands for, of course, maximum adverse excursion. This is how much the trade went against us before it went in our direction. So you'll notice it was 400, 600, 287, 212. So if we had used, as I have in previous videos and as the default number is, for the my risk per trade parameter, which is the stop price, if it, we had used $500, these three trades, one, two, and three would have been fine. But this one would have taken a loss. Now you will note it's hitting a profit target, for example, in this second trade here, of $3,250 by the second bar, you guys, okay? So this thing is moving at very, very broad ranges. Let's take a look at the actual trades that we had on ES, remembering the actual trades that I just showed you on the strategy performance tab. So that's the first trade. It essentially the, moved the dynamic stop and booked the unrealized profit. This is the second trade that I was mentioning. So it entered the trade here, it went against us. That's $600, you guys. Okay, that's $600. That bar, boom, right there is $600. Okay, and then we hit the profit target. We didn't even complete the second bar and we'd already hit the $3,250 profit target. And I'll share the strategy uh, parameters with you in just a moment here. So it still went up you know, significantly higher, but that was our profit target at 3250. The stop that I've used is $1,500. That's what I use for ES, and that's exactly what I use for NQ as well, and I'll share that in this video as well. So this is, the, so the first two trades went long, the third and fourth trade went short, and so this is the third trade. Again, it booked the unrealized profit by moving the dynamic stop from above it to below it, same here. It moved the dynamic stop. That's why you'll see the word stop loss, though you see the green dots there because that booked the profit, the unrealized profit by moving the dynamic stop, which is part of the strategy parameters that I'm show you right now. So let's take a look at that. So you'll notice that I still have the same Monday through Friday, which is my what I always pick. And then I have six. Th so my desired profit, I did not change. This, this stands for desired profit. I still use $1,250 when it came to training the actual higher edge AI LSTM model. So I've still used $1,250 for that. And I still use 630 to 1230, still using long and short. Still $200 for the minimum measured move on both the long and the short trades. $5,000 still for the net session profit limit, but this number here, this 2,000, used to be 1,000, okay, in previous videos that I've made, pre-tariff headlines which have taken over world media, right? And so it's $2,000 now because we want to give it more room to breathe, at least in my opinion. And still the same on the maximum number of trades per session is 20, consecutive loss switch still 5. My, this is the dynamic trailing stop parameters, so you have the peak high low uh, trailing stop parameters here. I'm still using 800, 450 for the SPOOs as well as for NQ as well. But this is the two primary changes besides the net session loss limit, which went from 1,000 to 2,000. So right here, the profit target is 3,250. That was right here, the 3,250. I mean, look at this, guys, okay? And then the stop is $1,500. Why do I have to do this? Because the market is demanding it. So these ranges are very, very broad. Relatively speaking to pre-tariff news, these are very, very broad ranges. In each bar, you've got thousands of dollars of movement. And this is not even NQ. We haven't even got to NQ yet. This is still the spoos. So we're still talking about ES. All right, so I had to make those changes. Of course, you have the option of the micros. So you can do, for example, three or four contracts, three or four lots of micros, MES, MNQ, et cetera and it will significantly reduce your risk doing it that way because as you know, the micros are a 10th of the value. And so your stop, if you were to 
apply this to the micros, it wouldn't be $1,500, obviously, it'd be $150 per contract. So if you were trading, let's say, four con contracts, and if you were to take a loss, your stop loss would be a total of $600 in that scenario. Okay, I'm still exiting at $1,259, everything else is the same. So let's go ahead and also show you NQ, all right, NQ. So this is, of course, known to be the beast of indexes when it comes to futures trading. And look at NQ, guys. So NQ is just the same. Let me just show you the performance right off the bat and we'll work backwards and study the trades. So this was NQ. It had five trades, okay? And here are those trades. Entry time, exit time, same story, guys, same story. Look at the number of bars. Look at the number of bars. I mean, we're in and out of this thing within like each bar is one minute, 60 seconds, 180 seconds. I mean, this is really, really fast moving market and it is very broad ranges. Yet, in my opinion, and I've posted this on my X account, formerly Twitter, it is, in my humble opinion, a systematic day traders market. It's been for a while. Okay, but this is like putting an exclamation, exclamation, exclamation point all over the place. So if you're trading uh, manually and trying to be nimble in this market, wow, good luck. Okay, good luck, that's all I have to say. So anyway, the first trade right off the bat takes a loss of $1,500 is my uh, stop loss there, but there's slippage, so $1,515. $1, the second trade, which exited after three bars, booked the profit at $300. The third trade booked the profit at 20, so it barely booked the profit there. Okay, just 20 bucks. But the fourth and the fifth trades drove it home, and we were done trading by 7.29 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So 7.32 for ES, 7.29 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for NQ. Plenty of trading for the rest of the day, but I have my net session profit limit set at $5,000, and because when it exited that final fifth trade, it was up $5,305. That's obviously more than $5,000, so it stopped looking for further trades. As always, guys, you want to always account for your commissions. So if you pay $25, five times five, right? Subtract that from the $5,305 for NQ. So I wanted to, again, bring to your attention the gigantic, the gigantic bars that these things are forming. Plenty of money in each bar. And so right off the bat, that first bar, it took a loss. Ultimately, went down a little bit. It would have been around $1,000 here, but actually here, but it took the loss, no complaints. It's just, you know, it took the loss. The second one booked a, a profit. The third one booked that tiny profit. Of course, directionally was correct, both of them were, but we have the dynamic stop in there of 800, 450. And so as you can see here, that's going to be observed. We have it there, it's there for a reason and it's going to be observed. So it's the same thing here, same story guys, same numbers. And why do I use the same numbers? Do NQ and ES move exactly the same way? Of course not, everybody knows NQ is more volatile, which means that the bars have broader ranges in between them as far as dollar value goes. But I use the same numbers just to show the robustness of Price Action Pivoter V5 AI exclusively built for the Ninja Trader platform, where I have married a Python-based higher edge AI LSTM real-time machine learning model to Ninja Trader, where it is fully automatic. The signals are being generated by the Python terminal, which is right here. They are being generated by the Python terminal, written to a TXT file, and that TXT file is being automatically read there you go, just another signal just came through. That TXT file is being automatically read by the Ninja Trader trading system, V5 AI, Price Action Pivoter V5 AI, and that is executing those trades for you. And it's handling both your money management as well as trade management as well. So the number of trades, et cetera, all of that is being handled automatically for you. You could be doing something else, though I don't recommend completely walking away from your computers and never looking at it ever again. Do look at your trading computer just to keep an eye on things, God forbid, who knows? The Ninja Trader may have crashed, your Ninja Trader data connection may have crashed, things can happen. So that I can't control, obviously, you can't control, nobody can control just how life is. Sometimes the computer crashes, and so or the VPS crashes, or your actual server crashes, whatever the case may be, so keep an eye on it. But this certainly gives you far more free time to be able to do what you need to do. Many of my clients are essentially working and so they are not looking at the monitor when they are at work other than when they get breaks or when they're at lunch, they just use their phones to log into their VPSs and see what's, what's cooking with their trades. Others, of course, are on it pretty much the entire day and they're uh, essentially trading many, many uh, instruments concurrently and that's fine too. Once you lease this thing, it's yours 
you. It's a self-directed, fully automated trading system that follows your parameters that I'm, as I'm showing here. As you can see, the peak high-low parameters were the same, 800, 450. The net session loss limit, which is the second number here, $2,000. I'm using it here as well, just like I did for ES. It used to be $1,000 in my previous videos, but that was before the tariff news became worldwide gigantic news that everybody is covering and talking about. That is why I say it is a systematic day traders market. In my humble opinion, this is, if you have the ability to take the risk, potentially the best times that a day trader might have. Because remember, what we do is we chase volatility. That's the whole objective of a day trader. The day trader is trying to squeeze as much as it can from this market. That's our entire objective. Every single trading day, you go through the same thing over and over again, trying to squeeze more and more out of this market. If you've got something really advanced, like this model is, the higher edge AI model is, and you're using money management, and you've thought about the risk that, you know, how much risk you can potentially stomach without losing your piece, you know, you have the best of both worlds, in my opinion. Still $3,250 for the profit target, $3,250, $1,500 for the stop. And one more thing I wanted to share with you guys is the, this is also posted on the blog post. This is a back test that I ran using what I just showed to you guys. So that is why I also back tested the same exact uh, information that I provided. So everything else is still the same, 6.30 a.m. till 12.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's $2,000 for the net session loss limit as opposed to 1,000, which I've used in previous videos. And instead of a $1,250 profit target, which I've used in previous videos, I'm using $3,250. And for the stop, instead of $500, which I've used in previous videos, I'm using $1,500. I still am using one tick of slippage on this. And here are the results. I just back tested it going back from June 2nd of 2024 until April 2nd of 2025. This back test took quite a while to run. It was I wanna say about three and a half hours approximately, but let me just show you what it did. So this is June through April 1st right there. Those are the number of trades. Guys, really quickly, I always talk about max drawdown first. Absolutely nothing has changed. Look at the max drawdown. I wanna highlight this number here, 131 trades in March. Compare that in relation to the other months that we've had. You see what happened here, right? When the tariff news starts to take off, boom, market starts going insane. The model is trying to, without doing anything different, it's trying to keep up with everything else that's happening, right? So all of the data that we're collecting in the CSV files, which are run off of the API, even the file names for the CSV and the TXT file are off of the API key that's being generated by my server for you and written down automatically on your trading machine. Those, even those are trying to keep up. I mean, look at what it did in March, 131. I mean, the second highest after that was 73 in October. I mean, what a gigantic difference, guys. Okay, so these 10 trades, obviously this is only until April 2nd, so it doesn't mean anything, but it's still a lot of time in this month to go. But this is what I had run. And I also wrote about this in the blog post, which is right here. So once in a while, guys, check this blog post. So go to pinnaclequant.com, price action, pivoter, V5 AI separated by dashes. And you'll notice that any updates that I make will be towards the bottom. So I'll make an update and I'll write about it. And for example, here was an update February 13th. Here was an update February 27th. Here was an update March 21st. Here's an update April 4th. So this is exactly the screenshot of what I just showed you from the strategy performance numbers. This is the actual screenshot. And this was on April 4th. You'll notice that I'm highlighting here that I used 2,000 for the net session profit limit, $3,250 for the profit target, $1,500 for the for the uh, stop loss, and those are the numbers, okay? And if you, anybody wanted the signals, you can grab it right there. These are the actual ES signals that I used that are from uh, June 2nd of last year, 2024, until April 2nd of this year. So if you just wanna grab it, it's right there. It's a big zip file. Obviously the zip file is not gonna be 15.3 megs, but if you download it and open up that zip file and extract the file, the TXT file, and then move it into the AI signals directory, subdirectory that the price action pivot or V5 AI system automatically created on your trading machine, then you'll be able to run a back test and see exactly what you're getting as well on your end. That is all I have to share for you guys for today. Let me just show you uh, where we started. This is where we started. So I'm ending it there as well. As always, take care of yourselves, guys, and God bless.